Hello there everybody. We're here to pull cards for July the 24th. I am going to be pulling one card for overall energy and the other cards are going to be for each zodiac sign and then we're going to look at how the two cards interact with each other for each sign. We just had a few cards fall. That's too many so we're going to keep on going here but that does indicate a little bit something about the day that it's going to be a pretty hectic day with a lot of energies around us changing. Look at that. Still multiples again. Just kind of confirming what I was saying before. All right, let's look at our overall energy is the Hanged Man in Reverse. Hanged Man in Reverse is a card that talks about the idea that there's been something on our minds that we've been feeling kind of paralyzed about being able to move forward with. And we've actually taken some time to really think about this situation, maybe even meditate on the situation. And we've got a good solution to move forward with now when the hanged man shows up in reverse. So we like that card. Talks about basically um, concern resolution. Next up, let's look at the individual energies. Aries, you have the three of wands. So Aries, you had something going on where you weren't feeling like you could really plan ahead for the long term until you were able to sort, kind of sort it out uh, all in your own mind. And now that you've got some things figured out for yourself, reset some priorities, now you're making some long-term plans. Good for you. We like it. All right, Taurus Emperor showing up here. This just tells me that for those of us with Taurus placements, we've been kind of thinking about how we can take more control over our life. What do we need to do to make sure that we are actually at the steering wheel of our life, that we're just not observers being dragged along for the ride? And we figured out how to actually do that with that hanged man showing up in reverse. And so we are definitely beginning that process of taking the wheel and steering for ourselves. Gemini, those of us with Gemini placements, Knight of Swords showing up in reverse. What on earth is going on here, Geminis? <laughs> Geminis, this is a really interesting energy because normally I feel like when we've come out of a hanged man situation, we've come out with something nice and solid that helps us move forward well. What I see here with this Knight of Swords in reverse is that you're rushing out of that hanged man energy. You may not be really giving it as much time as it needs for you to find the solution that you want and you're just kind of rushing forward without actually getting all that information that you need. So um, it, be very careful not to make a rash decision because that's that's really what my Knight of Swords in Reverse is. I equate that with somebody making a very rash decision, saying some things they're going to regret later on, making some choices and making them official that they may regret later on. So be very careful that um, you're not making some type of decision before you're actually ready. Okay. Uh, slow it down. Pump the brakes. Okay. Next up, let's look at Cancers. Okay, so Cancers, Four of Wands, showing up in reverse. This is telling me that you've been kind of thinking about or holding back on the idea of traveling or doing something away from home. And now with this Hanged Man in reverse, you've, you're feeling like it's time to put the pedal to the metal. It's time to spend some time away from home. We like it. Next up, let's look at Leo Leo. Okay, Queen of Swords showing up with the Hanged Man in reverse. Leo, you've got some kind of, I'm going to say some kind of business decision that you're making. You weren't quite sure what direction to go before. Now you've got it figured out and you are moving forward, um, at least at the point of creating a strategy. Um, if not actually taking action today. That Queen of Swords is sitting in the throne, so there may not be a lot of action. She could be giving some orders. She could be making a strategy, but I'm not seeing a lot of action just yet. Okay, next up, let's look at Virgo. Virgos. 
Okay, Virgos, with this hanged man in reverse, plus our Nine of Pentacles showing up in your signs energy, this just talks about, for me, the Nine of Pentacles talks about being independent, self-sufficient, um, doing things um, on your own. This can be entrepreneurial even. Doesn't necessarily mean that you're a single person. You could be married or you could have a business partnership, but this talks about doing something outside of that. This isn't a joint venture type of thing. This is your own thing that you're doing, okay? And with the hanged man showing up in reverse, this is saying you've been thinking about doing your own thing for a while and you're actually allowing yourself to do that now that you have looked at all the details around there and done your due diligence. Very cool. Okay, Virgos. Next up, let's look at Libra. Three of Cups in reverse. Libras, you have some friends around you or you have had some friends around you who have not been um, treating you very well. And with the hanged man in reverse, you have come to some kind of solution around this situation. And this is a solution that you can live with. So there may be this idea of having some communication with these friends to let them know that the silliness needs to stop. Or it could be that you're just deciding, you know what, I need to distance myself from these people and not spend time with them. All kinds of different ways that that can manifest. But you have figured out what you're going to do about some colleagues or some friends or tribe members who have been jumping up and down on your last nerve. All right. So that's Libra. Next up, we're going to look at Scorpio. Scorpios, okay. Six of Cups showing up in reverse. Six of Cups in reverse is just saying, hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, I think that you've got somebody from your past that you're not too happy to see. Could be a romantic partner, does not have to be. Can be an old employer or, or an old employee maybe. But somebody coming back from your past that you don't really have good memories of. You don't enjoy thinking about this person, okay? With the hanged man in reverse, I think there's been a while since you've seen this person because this would be a delay card that has now broken free. And so we see this person showing up in your life today, but it's been a while since you've seen them, okay? Whoever this is from the past. All right, so that was Scorpios. That's interesting. All right, let's look at Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Six of Swords showing up with the Hanged Man in reverse. What's going on here? Hmm. So Sagittarius, you've had a situation where you've been feeling like it was dragging you down or holding you back. And now you have figured out a way to get out of that situation, to move away from the drama and chaos into something that is much more calm, peaceful, that allows you to be organized and have a plan about what direction you're going. Capricorn. Three of Swords showing up in reverse. Capricorns, you've been working on dealing with some kind of heartache or heartbreak for a while now. And you have finally come to a place of release or of closure or whatever word you want to use where you are finally starting to heal up. Good for you. Aquarius. Eight of Wands showing up. Oh. <laughs> Aquarius, I feel like you've been sort of waiting to figure out what you want to do with the situation and now you have figured out what you want to do with the situation is you want to quit communicating with this other person or these other people and so that's what you're doing you're giving yourself permission to not talk to them next up let's look at Pisces maybe even you're giving yourself an order to not talk to them Aquarius Pisces you've got the two of wands showing up in reverse overall energy being the hanged man in reverse Hmm. This is really interesting to me because Two of Wands in reverse talks about this idea that you have a choice in front of you. Whatever you choose, there's no bad way to choose here. So whatever you choose is going to be just fine. However, with this hanged man in reverse, ugh, I think you know what you want to choose here. The problem is that you have people around you that expect you to choose a certain way 
and you may or may not be interested in choosing whatever it is they want you to choose. And so it's really going to be up to you to, to figure out, you know, am I going to go with the direction I want or am I going to go with the direction other people want? And I think that you are making that choice today with that hanged man in reverse. All right. So who was that? Was that Pisces? Yep. Thank you guys very much for being here today. Everyone have a fantastic day. Peace out.